Hello Leo, welcome, I'm glad you're here. This is going to be a reading for whenever you happen to come across this, if you're meant to see it, and this is what the universe wants to tell you. So what do we have for Leo? Oh, look what's going to pop up. Ooh, okay, flying out, your card. Okay, someone, the universe is anxious to talk to you. This came flying out, the Leo card, the happiest card in the deck. Next comes the Knight of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone from your past is coming back. A lot of fond memories. They're coming back very slow and sure. They're trying to make sure they come back correctly. They don't want to blow this. Oh, yes. There might be really taking a long time to come back to return. Pisces energies here. Um, they're just trying to see things. In, I, I almost feel like they're trying to see things through your eyes. They're seeing things in a different perspective. I think they're like the light bulb went off. They just realized something. And they want to come back towards to you, but they want to make sure that you don't you can't turn them away. So they want to make sure they come back really strong and um, to win your love back. We're gonna see the sun here. Ooh, look at that! I don't know if you can have anything happier than that. It's like nine of cups plus the sun, and it's your card. So there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. Look what's behind the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Ooh, this is so good. Let's see. Knight of Coins. We made the Knight of Coins here for Leo. Yeah, someone's moving away from something to come towards you. They might be leaving a, a karmic, leaving a, some type of relationship. They could be leaving a job to move towards you. Um, and they could be, you know, leaving where they live to move forward. They're, but they're definitely moving away from something that was not good for them to come towards you because you make them happy. They have a lot of fond memories of you. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Six of Cups here? Yeah, they want to work on this. They're hoping you do too. High Priestess, they feel a very um, intense spiritual connection with you. I think you guys might meet on the fifth dimension. If you have dreams about this person, um, especially a very um, romantic or, you know, very hot and heavy um, dreams. You guys are connecting in the fifth dimension. You're both feeling this. And that's what I'm getting. There's some hidden things that are going to be revealed too with the High Priest. The High Priest could be Cancer or Virgo. Let's see what else we have for you. Justice. Nice Libra energy. Ooh, and the Magician right in the middle here. And there, here's the, someone putting a lot of work into something. And we have the the Queen of Swords. Well, this is the energy they're expecting to come into. They're, they're knowing that you're going to have that sword raised up. And they have to come in correctly or not at all. But they, and because you want the truth and nothing but the truth. And that's where the Justice card, Libra energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Libra, um, Aries or Aquarius. And then we have the Eight of Coins. This is someone that wants to work on this wants to manifest a new beginning with you they are trying really hard uh, this person is really intense they want to bring justice in okay they're determined i feel a very determined energy here okay why do we have the justice card here for leo Ooh, this is coming in quick before you know it, there's going to be communication going back and forth this person's going to it almost feels like I'm seeing someone who is planning something and there's like this step, this step, and this step. They have like many steps to what they're trying to um, accomplish here. It's going to like, boo, every, everything's going to hit you so fast you're not going to know what's happening here. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're going to fight for this connection. They feel very strongly about you. They don't want to lose you. They probably already lost you, but they want to work and fight for this connection. Okay, now... What about the Eight of Coins? Yes. Transformation. You have here work. You have their transformation. So they could also be transformation. So, uh, there could be a transformation going on at your work too. You could be manifesting something that's changing at your work. That is transforming in some way or another. That you are becoming a master at something. 
and it's going to transform your life because something's ending and you're putting work into something new that you're really focusing on and it's going to bring in a whole new beginning with this ending Scorpio energy but I also feel like this is this person just trying to wants to work on this to bring this back around to transform it so you guys can be together again they see you as the Empress this could be a Libra Taurus energy also but they they have they put you on a pedestal you are everything they always wanted they just really admire you you're very creative and if you're um they if they want to have family they would like you to uh, be a parent with them this is um very creative energy this could be that someone is pregnant or will be pregnant or can get pregnant so if you're not ready to have a baby at this time don't, who wants to pop out here let's see what's this yeah, strength. There's your card again, Leo. You're trying to peek out over there. So being very strong here. This is your energy or it could be their energy trying to be very strong to come towards you. Because they definitely want a new beginning. They they see a lot of potential here. You are very abundant at this time. Anything you want, you can achieve. You can achieve major success in your career. Also in your love life. Because you are the Empress. Okay, let's see. They figure they have to probably fight for you. Ooh, look at this. Five here, five here. Changes are afoot. There's definitely changes coming in. If you put the two and three together, you get another five. A lot of changes coming in for you. And this is, um, they feel like they're in um, a lot of competition for you. You're going to, you might have to choose between two people. And, um, there's a lot, there could be a third party with this um, three of cups and for some of you it could be just that this person wants to ask you out you might have different people want to ask you out there's gonna be um, something hidden here too with this five of swords I know you could very well I'm looking at these three um, talons I guess but this like there's like swords I'm looking at these I'm looking at I'm thinking of three of swords with the three of cups i think there is a third party situation that some of you not for everyone so take what resonates leave what doesn't i don't think it's for everyone but there is a third party situation that there's a lot of conflict because of that five and that five and like i said i'm putting this so you're cutting whatever it does not belong oh look at this they had this one wanted to stay on the table so taurus virgo capricorn a king someone that um that is very stable, reliable. This could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. Okay, let's um, clarify here. Judgment. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision between two people. There's someone coming back from the past. There might be someone that's in your life now or it's coming in shortly also at the same time. Um, yeah, but this is a return of the past. And it's going to cause some kind of conflict in your life here. Let's see. The two here. Queen of Wands. Now, this could be the third party. This could be a karmic causing trouble. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this also, I think, is the way this person sees you. They find you very desired but very attractive. Okay. And you're going to have to make a decision. What about this Three of Cups? Ooh, another three. I'm getting these um multiple numbers, same numbers here. So we've got another three. Looking out and waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for someone to come in. And I would say this is a future someone. There might be three people around you. There might be, you know, well, it could be you and the two, uh, two people that are interested in you, but also could be three people interested in you. And you're almost like there's a new person coming in. And it almost feels like your soul knows to wait for this other person, maybe. Look at that. Three of Cups again. You're going to be celebrating, but there's a lot of threes here. Three, 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 three. Wow. Yeah, so very strong that there's three people. Either you have three people that are like you, or it's you and two people. But I feel it's your choice between at least two people. 
could be different for different people. It could be some people have three, some people have two. But there is going to be some kind of celebration. Or you're going to be going out a lot and trying to make up your mind which person you want to be with. You're going to be wine and dine. Let's see. So one more roll that we have here. What else do we have for Leo, please? Oh, nine of cups, two of cups, and the tower. Ooh. And we have the king of cups. Someone has a lot of emotions for you. Someone's coming forward with their cup of love. They see you as a soulmate. This might shock you, whoever this person is, or when they come in, or how they come in, or something about the way they come in. It's going to be quite shocking. It's going to really, um, they call mess up the apple cart whatever the saying is okay let's see why do we have the knight of cups here scorpio cancer pisces Ooh, the star they see you as their wish come true their wishes and dreams come true this person wants to make you really happy okay why do we have the two of cups here aquarius energy why do we have the two of cups ah they see you as a queen of cups very loving nurturing caring a lot of love here. Now we have the King and the Queen of Cups. So together, I think you guys can really have a very loving, mutual relationship. Now, why do we have a Tower, which would be Aries or Scorpio energy? Why is the Tower here? Thank you. Oh, this, you feel stuck. When this happens, you're going to feel stuck. Oh, we have the Lovers and we have the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in real quick for an offer here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini does not have to be. you got Gemini with the Lovers. There is definitely a choice to be made here. You're going to have to make a choice. It's going to be more than one person here. But it is Lover, Soulmate, connection with the Two of Cups and the Lovers card. You're definitely, wow. This is amazing reading. And you're just going to have to decide which one you want here, Leo. So... There's something going to shock you, though. Something's going to come in out of the blue here. All right. I hope you like this reading. Um, please leave me comments. I'd love to know if it resonates with you or anything you have to say. Let's see. Let's see what signs we're dealing with. Let's see. Sagittarius. Scorpio. Pisces. Cancer. Ooh, all the water signs are here. Of course, we do have the King and Queen of Cups plus the Knight of Cups. Cancer again and Libra. So the signs you can be dealing with, and this could be placements in your chart, placement in their chart, and you do have more than one person here interesting. you. So we have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, and Libra. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't belong to you because it just won't work. Um, all right, guys. Um, I appreciate all you people. I I love you guys. I thank you so much for all you like, your shares, your supplies, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.